Welcome to the National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, the world's largest and most energetic laser system, drawing researchers from around the globe for experiments that can't be conducted anywhere else on Earth. Let's take a closer look. Here inside this clean room, engineering technicians use mechatronics to fabricate targets for NIF experiments, called SHOTS. While target designs vary significantly across different experimental campaigns, their extreme precision is a common attribute. Here we see a hall run, a metal canister about the size of a dime, which will house a cryogenically frozen fuel capsule the size of a peppercorn. Targets like this are designed to help physicists answer specific questions about how matter behaves in extreme conditions. The goal? Improve our understanding of the universe and ensure the nation's nuclear stockpile. Once these intricate targets are complete, they will be positioned at the center of NIF's 10-meter diameter target chamber. Welcome to the target bay, which contains the business end of NIF's 192 laser beams. You may recognize this view from the film Star Trek Into Darkness, where NIF's target chamber served as the warp core of the Starship Enterprise. Here, operations manager Bruno van Wantergem points out some of the 60 X-ray, optical, and nuclear diagnostics used to give researchers a view into what happens with each experiment. For today's shot, researchers are particularly interested in measuring the opacity of hot, dense plasma, similar to that found surrounding neutron stars. The NIF shot director and a team of systems engineers prepare for a shot. NIF's complex operation alignment, and diagnostic functions are controlled and orchestrated by the Integrated Computer Control System, which consists of 66,000 control points and 3.5 million lines of code. The control room must coordinate all systems involved in depositing nearly 2 million joules of laser energy into the hall run. And it's almost time for action. Four, three, two, one, shot. Once the countdown reaches zero, a single weak pulse of light is generated. That pulse is split and routed through 192 separate beam lines that you see here in the NIF laser bay. The beams pass through nearly 40,000 optics as they course back and forth through amplifiers and conditioners in these beam lines. All told, a beam will travel about 1,500 meters in a few millionths of a second, increasing in energy by a factor of a million billion before its final approach to the target chamber. Before entering the target chamber, the beams are aligned to surround the target, converted into ultraviolet light, and focused down to a point. The beams converge on the interior surface of the hull run, creating an X-ray oven and bathing the capsule in high-energy X-rays. As the capsule's plastic shell burns off, it creates a rocket effect accelerating the fuel capsule inwards at about 370 kilometers per second. The heavy hydrogen fuel inside is compressed to temperatures that reach 100 million degrees Celsius, six times hotter than the sun, and 100 billion atmospheres, pressures higher than the center of gas giant planets like Jupiter. As the fuel is compressed, the hydrogen atoms begin to fuse together into helium, releasing a tremendous burst of fusion energy the energy source that powers stars like our sun. This shot is one of more than 400 scheduled to take place this year at NIF. It is a truly one-of-a-kind research capability that draws on the expertise of dozens of disciplines. The net result is unparalleled insight into some of nature's most enigmatic nuclear and astrophysical phenomena. What mysteries could you solve at the National Ignition Facility?